So I guess what we have to do now, we have to pull the battery pack out of this thing, see what the hell's wrong with it. Done a little research on this, kind of know what it takes to get this out. In fact, I have a complete service manual on this car. So I know that we will first be disconnecting battery, taking some panels off underneath, draining the coolant. There's some coolant that goes in and cools the batteries. There's actually two coolant systems in this car. There's a high temperature coolant and a low temperature coolant. So we'll be draining the low temperature coolant. I'll be capturing that fluid. I don't know what kind it is. So I'm pretty much flying blind on this one. Now I disconnect the battery. It's gonna be in the right fender here. So I've kind of peeled back here the, the splash well, which is a fabric material. And you can see the bolts up in there. So it's gonna be that second one. Pretty tight in here, but we'll loosen this bolt here. Ten millimeter. And that positive battery control should come right off. Alright. Alright, now you gotta remember too that these are electric doors, they're purely electric doors. So what you want to do, you're going to work on this car, you're going to want to make sure and latch the latches so when you close the door, the door won't shut. Or else you'll never get, be able to get back in it without connecting the battery up. That's going to be kind of difficult to do. So the main electrical disconnect. is going to be right there. Right underneath the rear left hand seat. It's going to be an electrical connector to the seat right here. Here what you have is a master disconnect. Pull the pin on that. Okay, here's the master disconnect underneath the seat. Push that button. Whole thing should pull up and out. Now with these closing panels off, you can clearly see where the contactors are here, underneath this uh, L-shaped panel here, and all the nice pretty orange wires going all the way up front. I think I'm going to put my gloves on now, try to be really safe with all this wiring here. Remember, this is 400 volts. It's nothing to play with. You can see these wires here coming from the inverters. Um, these wires are coming from the generator up front. So the first thing I want to disconnect is the charging wires. 
I believe that these are some BMS connections right in here. And uh, this is actually the main charge wire right here. Now underneath this panel, there's going to be some uh, contactors to actually kind of run the whole show here. actually ground here that's not in the manual it's 10 millimeter but you have to take it off and then uh, there you go tie that back I think everything's out of the way now I think I'll just be tying this off with a bungee cord Ooh, we're all disconnected now that we got all the batteries disconnected, the 12 volt battery and the high voltage battery, uh, remove the closing panels, uh, we can now drop that battery down. So what my plan is, is to lower the lift down, kind of loosen some of the screws, put it on a stand, and then raise the lift back up. Well, that's really not as easy as it sounds. Okay, so this is what I ended up here. I built this uh, support for the for the battery, I figured that I could drop the battery down, loosen some screws a little bit, and lift the car back up. Uh, it's really sturdy. Um, I know that each one of these uh, uh, furniture dollies, for the lack of a better term, will probably hold at least a thousand pounds, so I know the battery is not over two thousand pounds. Um, so it should be plenty, but what I found is I'm going to be unable to get my hand underneath there in between the car to loosen these these screws up in there on both sides of the battery. That's a problem. So I found out a solution for that. I'm simply going to take two 4x4s, cut some notches in my stand down here, and then be able to lower the battery pack down just a little bit right onto those two 4x4s, remove the 4x4s, and then lift the car up. We'll see how well that works. Could have been a lot easier had I had a two post lift in the garage, but hey, gotta work with what you got. So this stand here was pretty easy to make. I just purchased two eight foot long two by tens, kind of cut them up, put four by fours in the corner. Should handle the weight really well. So what I need to do now is make some cutouts for those four by fours.
Now here you can get a little better idea on what I'm doing here. You can see I got a transmission jack right in the middle of the battery there. We're gonna take the battery down and set it right on top of those 4x4s. Got to make sure those 4x4s are in the right place to fit the slots in the cradle that I made. Looks like I was successful in getting this battery out. Now you really have to take this thing out if you want to change anything like uh, they have these relays in there, contactors, and uh, that's all in a, um, in a package back there and the BECM is also back there. So uh, you know I think next week we'll take some of these modules apart and see exactly what's inside of there. I know that they have some, uh, some battery control boards in there and each one of them has to probably stay with the battery that you're working on. So. Um, it's gonna be a little time consuming and we're gonna to have to definitely create some records. But we'll go over that next week. If you know anybody that would like this content, just let them know. Till next time.